Hey everyone. Uh, so this is a video to show, well, to show these cards. Um, as I mentioned before in a previous video, uh, that if you're on YouTube, actually you probably haven't seen yet, that's for patrons first. Um, but it'll be releasing next week. Uh, anyways, these are duplicate cards that I have. So these are extra cards. And, you know, to keep kind of funding the openings and, and the packs and all the different things that I find, um, I want to start selling cards, you know. So uh, I made this binder, which is just like cheapy cards, I call them. Um, I'm just, you know, hoping to get like a dollar a card. Uh, if you buy, you know, a lot, of course, you can get, you know, a little less than a dollar card. Maybe it'd be like, for example, you buy 10 and you pay for 9, or you buy 10 and you get 11, or, or something like that. I don't know. Um, but basically, shipping outside of Japan is still a little difficult right now because of, you know, Ukraine and Russia, and because of <laughs> never-ending COVID, which apparently Japan is still one of the few countries that's overly concerned about it. Uh, but basically, it just makes everything super difficult. So um, probably what will happen is if somebody actually buys some of these, um, I'll put them in like a, a small bubble mailer or a, a regular envelope, but with cardboard or, or something like that to protect them a little bit um, and just ship them off regular mail. Um, so, you know, I don't want anybody to be like, oh, I'm going to send you $100 because in regular mail, who knows? Uh, at the same time, I don't want anybody to send $100 and then later say, hey, I didn't get the cards, you ripped me off, you didn't send them. Uh, I will send them, <laughs> but it's regular mail. Um, so, I mean, the, the, the chances of losing cards are, I think, probably very low. Um, but I just want you to be aware of that. At the same time, you know, the, the goal of selling these and making some money is to buy more things so I also don't want you know people ripping me off you know like they get their cards and they file a PayPal chargeback or something like that oh I didn't get the cards or something crazy so basically let's play nice <laughs> okay uh, that's the goal here so um, anyways let's go through so here's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna say page one uh, and if you're interested in something on page one uh, we'll say it you know, it's it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So basically just say like, oh, I'm interested in page one, card five. Uh, and I will pull those out. And, you know, we've got, let's say $10 is the minimum. Um, because, you know, I don't really see the point in shipping out cards and paying, you know, like $3 to ship to you. And you paid $3. So then you get, I mean, you paid but I get nothing <laughs> in the end because I'm going to pay for shipping too. You know, that's the other thing. I'm not going to charge that. Um, that's the other reason that, you know, I'm going to keep them kind of low priced here. Um, but I put just a piece of paper in the back because as you can see, um, the clear files, they're not the same folder, or, sorry, the same pages that I have for the Kantai collection cards. Uh, so I'm, I'm basically just putting this in so you can clearly see what you're going to get. Because a lot of the the cards themselves are also clear. <laughs> which makes things a little bit difficult. So yeah, I'm just going to space this in as we go. And say like so. So I'll just spend a, a couple seconds on each page. If you see something you like, pause it. And, you know, listen to what page number it is. And, and find what card. Uh, but that's it. Ready? Here we go. So page one. Page two. Page three. Page four. Page five. Okay. We're going to pause for just a second here. Uh, now you'll see we're getting into some of the wafer type cards. If they're wafer cards, they're going to come still in the packaging that they came in originally. Uh, so that's why it looks a little bit 
weird, probably. Um, but yeah, they'll come just like that. I'm not going to unpack them or anything like that. So that was page five back there. Page six. Seven. Eight. Page nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And page twenty. Okay. Twenty one. Twenty two. Twenty three. Twenty four. Twenty five. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Thirty. Thirty one. Thirty two. Thirty three. Thirty four. Thirty five. Thirty six. Thirty seven. And looks like I had 38 pages there. So 38 is the last page. Um, like I said, these cards, I just want to do a dollar each. Uh, I have another file, which is going to be... Uh, the cards will vary, probably between like 2 and $5 each. Uh, there are a lot more of the rares and the uh, super rares and specials and clear specials and basically a lot of more rare sought after cards uh so i'm gonna do that video later than today uh today's my second video so that's it for this weekend i think um and after that binder i'll have basically the most rare cards and those cards are going to be like hey make me an offer buddy <laughs> um, but yeah in this package uh this binder just tell me what page you like uh, what card numbers you like and we'll work it out it'll be simple um for the the next binder when i do that the two to five basically kind of the same tell me what you're inter interested in i will give you a number and we'll go from there um and then yeah the other ones probably you'll have to start so we can figure things out but anyways that's that i hope you find something that you like like i say just pause the video and
write down whatever you're thinking or type up whatever you're thinking and we'll get it worked out. Thanks. Bye.